Hello friends, welcome to the Tech Mecca YouTube channel. Are you preparing for a computer desktop support interview? In this video, we cover the essential computer desktop support interview questions and answers to help you confidently prepare for your upcoming interview. Whether you're a fresher or an experienced professional, this video is designed to give you all the preparation you need to succeed in your interview and secure your dream role in desktop support. Question number one, can you explain the steps you would take to troubleshoot a computer that won't boot? Answer. First, I would check if the computer is receiving power by examining the power cable, power strip, and whether the power button is functioning. Then, I'd inspect if there's any display signal by checking the monitor connection. Next, I would boot into safe mode to see if the issue is software related. If necessary, I would perform hardware diagnostics to rule out hard drive or RAM issues, and if all else fails, Use a bootable disk to check for OS corruption. Question number two, how would you handle a situation where a user cannot connect to the network? Answer. I begin by checking the network cable and confirming the user's system is connected to the correct network. I would verify the system's IP settings to ensure it's set to obtain an IP automatically or configured correctly. After that, I'd run commands like it config or ping to check connectivity and troubleshoot potential issues with the router or server. If wireless, I'd check Wi-Fi settings and signal strength. Question number three, what steps would you take to resolve a slow computer? Answer. I would start by checking for running background processes or startup programs that could be slowing the system down, using the task manager. Then, I'd ensure the system has enough memory and CPU resources for the applications being used. I'd check for malware or viruses, and finally, perform disk cleanup and defragmentation to improve performance. Question number four, how do you manage software updates and patches for desktop systems? Answer. I manage software updates by regularly checking for updates through the operating systems update manager or configuring automatic updates. I prioritize critical security patches and schedule non-essential updates during off-peak hours to minimize user disruption. I also ensure that all updates are compatible with the current system setup before deploying them network-wide. Question number five. What would you do if a user reports that their printer isn't working? Answer. I would first check the physical connections to ensure the printer is properly plugged in and powered on. Next, I would confirm that the printer is set as the default in the system settings and check the print queue for errors. If the issue persists, I'd verify the printer driver installation and attempt a reinstallation or update of the drivers. Additionally, I'd ensure there are no network issues if it's a network printer. Question number 6, how would you respond to a user who has lost access to a file or folder? Answer. First, I would verify the location of the file or folder to ensure it hasn't been moved or deleted. If it's a permission issue, I'd check the file security settings and reassign the necessary permissions to the user. If the file has been deleted, I'd check the recycle bin or attempt file recovery through backups or recovery software. Question number 7, can you explain the difference between a hardware issue and a software issue? Answer. A hardware issue typically involves physical components like hard drives, RAM, or power supplies that can cause symptoms such as system crashes, no power, or blue screens. Software issues involve problems with the operating system, drivers, or applications, and can manifest as slow performance, application crashes, or error messages. Troubleshooting steps for hardware would include physical inspections and diagnostic tests, while software issues require logs and error message analysis. Question number 8. How would you go about setting up a new computer for a user? Answer. I would start by installing the operating system, followed by necessary drivers for the hardware. Then, I'd install and configure essential software, including antivirus and productivity tools. I would configure network settings, set up user accounts, and transfer any data from the user's old system. Lastly, I'd ensure the system is secure and create a backup or system restore point. Question number 9. What are the main differences between Windows and Linux operating systems? Answer. Windows is a commercial operating system with a graphical user interface, widely used in personal and enterprise environments. It's known for its user-friendly interface and best software compatibility. Linux, on the other hand, is an open-source OS that is more customizable and preferred by developers and system administrators for its flexibility, stability, and security. 
Linux generally requires more command line use, whereas Windows is more GUI based. Question number 10. How do you prioritize multiple desktop support requests? Answer. I prioritize requests based on urgency and impact. Critical issues affecting multiple users or preventing them from working, like network outages or major hardware failures, take precedence. Issues impacting a single user's ability to work, such as software errors or hardware malfunctions, come next. Finally, less urgent tasks, such as software updates or routine maintenance, are scheduled for later.